All right, we're gonna get started in just a couple minutes with streaming story time. I am really glad to see you here today. And we'll give all of our friends just a few minutes to gather up and we'll get started in a few. I'm gonna make sure I've got all my stuff ready here. Oh, let's see, man, we have a lot of fun stuff planned for today. We have stories, songs, dancing, all kinds of fun stuff. So we're gonna wait like another minute or so, and then we will go ahead and get started. How's your day going today? Pretty good? Yeah, it looks a little gloomy out there, but wasn't yesterday a nice day? It was so nice. I hope you got outside to play a little bit. I did. Yeah. Maybe, let's see if you can guess what our stories are about today while we wait. Um, hmm, let me give you a clue. It is a really tasty treat. Hmm, something that you bake and hmm, comes all different kinds. It's not a cake. It's not donuts. It's not a pie. Hmm. 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 Do you think maybe you have a clue? Yeah. We'll find out in just a few minutes. But what do you say? Should we get started? All right. We will get started. If more friends join us, great. So, good morning, everybody. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Welcome to Streaming Story Time. My name is Elizabeth. And Streaming Storytime comes to you from Laudit District Library and today from my living room. And we are going to read some stories, tell some stories, do a lot of singing, and have a lot of fun. Now, to get started, let's warm up our hands like we always do. Do you have your hands ready? Yay! All right, we're gonna clap them. Can you clap along with me? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello. To all our friends at story time, we clap and say hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, Katie. Hi, Cora. I'm so glad to see you. All right, let's stamp our feet. You ready? Can you get them stamping? We stamp and say hello. We stamp and say hello. To all our friends at story time, we stamp and say hello. Yay! One last one. We're going to wave. Hi, everybody. We wave and say hello, we wave and say hello to all our friends at story time. We wave and say hello. Hi everybody, hello. I'm glad you're watching today. I miss seeing you at the library, but I like that we can still do story time here. So today's stories, I've got something that came in the mail with a clue about what our stories are today. Should we find out? All right, and to find out, what do we have to sing? Our ABCs, can you help me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Hmm, I wonder what letter got mailed to me. Let's open up the mailbox so we can see. Hmm, okay, there's a letter in here. Let me see if I can find it. Ooh, it's kind of a small one today. What is that letter? Do you know? Yeah, it's the letter C. And C sometimes makes a k, k sound. Hmm, k, k. What could be in here? Hmm, let's see. Oh, look what I found. It's a cat. Oh, there we go. Do you think we're telling cat stories today? Hmm, not today, not today. Maybe another time though. No cat stories today. Hmm, how about, how about, oh, gotta be this. A container? Oh, container stories. Gotta be container stories. No, that is too silly. No container stories. What else? What else? <gasps> Cotton ball stories. 
No, that is way too silly. No way. All right, all right. There's one more thing. Tell me if you think this might be what we're telling stories about today. <gasps> cookies! That's right, cookie starts with C, and cookies are what our stories today are all about. So, I'm gonna set that aside because we're definitely gonna need that cookie later for our stories. But my first story today is called The Gingerbread Man. Do you know this one? It's an old folk tale, lots of people have told it, and we're gonna tell our version today. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, an old man and an old woman decided to bake some cookies. They made gingerbread cookies. They stirred up the dough, they rolled out the dough, and they cut a great big gingerbread shape. Ooh. They put it on the pan, they put it into the oven, and they set the timer. Pretty soon, mmm, they could smell the delicious gingerbread, and the timer went ding! It was done! The little old woman and the little old man ran to the oven. They opened up the door, and guess what? Whoop! Out jumped the gingerbread man! That was unexpected. And even crazier, he ran out the door. And as he ran, he said, run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. <gasps> well, the little old woman and the little old man wanted to eat that cookie, so they ran after him. Now they ran fast, but the gingerbread man ran faster. And pretty soon, he came across, what do you think he saw? a hen. And the hen said, hello there, gingerbread man. I would like to eat you up. Slow down. But the gingerbread man said, I ran from an old woman and I ran from a man and I can run from you too. I can run, run fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Whoop. And off ran the hen after him. Now the hen ran fast, but the gingerbread man ran faster. And pretty soon, he came across another animal. What do you think this one is? Oink, 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 oink. <gasps> he ran across a pig and the pig said, oink, 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 oink. Slow down, gingerbread man, you look delicious. I would like to try a little taste of you. But the gingerbread man said, I ran from a hen and an old woman and a man and I can run from you too, I can. Run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran. And the pig ran too. The pig ran fast, but the gingerbread man ran faster. And soon he came across another animal. He ran until he met a cow. And the cow said, moo, slow down, gingerbread man. I would like to eat you up. Well, the gingerbread man said, I ran from a pig and a hen and an old woman and an old man, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run, fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran. Well, the cow ran after him very fast, but the gingerbread man was faster. And he ran, and he ran, and he ran, and he ran, until, uh-oh, he came to a deep, cold river. Oh no, said the gingerbread man. How will I get across? All those animals are running after me. Hmm, this is a problem. I can't swim, I'm just a cookie. But at that very moment, who should come up? but a sly fox. And the fox said, hello there, gingerbread man. What seems to be the problem? Well, I'm running away from a cow and a pig and a hen and an old woman and an old man, but I can't get across this river. Oh, that is a problem, said the fox, but I have an idea. You do? Yes. 
why don't you hold on to my tail and we'll swim across the river together. I'm a very good swimmer. Hmm, the gingerbread man thought it over. He was not the brightest cookie, so he said, okay, sounds like a deal. And he grabbed on to the fox's tail. And across the river, they started to swim. Shoop, 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 shoop. But pretty soon, the fox said, oh no, gingerbread man, the water is getting Deeper, you better climb up onto my back. Okay, said the gingerbread man. And up he climbed onto the fox's back. That's better. And on we'll swim. And they swam and they swam and they swam until, uh-oh, gingerbread man, the water's getting even deeper. You better climb up onto my head. Okay. And up climbed the gingerbread man. And guess what? They swam, and they swam, and they swam. <gasps> oh no, gingerbread man. You better climb up onto my nose. Uh-oh, you guys think this is a good idea? Hmm, okay, said the gingerbread man, and so he did. He climbed up right onto the fox's nose. But before he could start to swim, you know what happened? The fox threw back his head. <gasps> the gingerbread man flew up into the air and chomp right into the fox's mouth and the fox gobbled that cookie right up <clears throat> delicious <gasps> oh no well you know that's what happens to cookies right what would you do if you saw a giant cookie yeah i think i'd eat it right up too yum yum and the fox went on his way and the little old woman and the little old man don't worry, they baked a new batch of cookies, but this time they went with chocolate chip. And that's the end. Yay! Great job listening, everybody. Now, I have a song for you because Can't Catch Me reminds me of a song I know about five little monkeys. Do you know this one? They're swinging in a tree. Yeah? Sing it along with me if you know it. Ready? Five little monkeys. Monkeys swinging from a tree. Tease and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Uh-oh. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped that monkey right out of that tree. Uh-oh. He got one monkey. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. Tease and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. <gasps> Uh-oh, two got eaten. How many are left? One, two, three. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree. Tease and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. Now how many? Two, right. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Tease and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. Oh no. There were two. He ate one. Now there's one monkey left. Are you ready? One little monkey swinging from a tree. Tease and Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. Oh no. No more monkeys. And one very happy alligator. job. All right, are you ready for another cookie story? Let's see what I've got. Oh, now you might know this story. It's backwards, isn't it? You recognize the picture though. It's called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie and it's by Laura Numeroff. And it's okay that it's backwards because we're going to tell the story that this book tells with a mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> Do you think mice like cookies? Probably, yeah. 
So this story is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. So, if you give a mouse a cookie, guess what? She's probably going to want a glass of milk. Ooh, yes, please. I would like a big glass of milk to dunk my cookie. All right. So, you'll get her a glass of milk. <gasps> Thank you. But, you, you know, this would be a lot better with a straw. Do you have a straw, please? Hmm, I think so. Let me see. <laughs> oh, yep. You'll get her a straw. <sighs> ah, much better. Thank you. But when she's done, she'll be a little bit messy and she'll ask, um, please, do you have a napkin? So you'll go into the kitchen and you'll get her a napkin. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> ah, all better. I think, but wait a second. Sometimes when I drink milk, I get a milk mustache. Do you have a mirror? So you'll go and you'll get her a mirror so she can check her face to see if she has a milk mustache. Ah, looking very handsome. No milk mustache, thanks. But actually, wait a second, hold that up there. Does my hair need a little trim? It's looking a little long. Uh, could you give me a pair of scissors, please? So you'll go and you'll get her a pair of scissors and you'll give her hair a little trim. <laughs> ah, wow, look at that. Much better. Let's see, oh, oh no, oh no. Look at the floor. There's hair everywhere. Do you have a broom? So you'll go and you'll get her a broom. Oh. Thank you. I will be just a few minutes while I sweep the floor. And she will sweep and sweep and sweep until she has swept the whole house. Wow. This looks good. Thanks, mouse. Uh, you're welcome, but it really could use a little more. I'm a very neat mouse. And I would like a bucket and a mop, please, so I can really clean these floors. Well, can't say no to clean floors. So you will go and get her a bucket and some soap and a sponge and she will scrub and 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 scrub until the whole house is clean. Ta-da! Look at that. Looks pretty good. But I am so tired. All that cleaning wore me out. Could you make me a little bed, please? So you'll get a little box and some cotton and a little blanket and make her a little bed. Oh, so cozy. Ah. Oh, but wait. Um, I always need a bedtime story before I go to sleep. So you'll go to your bookshelf and you'll get her a book and you will read and read and read and she'll listen and listen and listen. And that story will make her start thinking, oh, you know what? That reminds me of something that happened to me and I would love to draw a picture and write all about it. Do you have a crayon and some paper, please? So you'll go and you'll get her some paper and some crayons. Oh, thank you. And she'll draw and she'll write and she'll draw and she'll write until she creates a masterpiece. Oh, I'm so proud. I want to sign my name. Do you have a pen? Hmm, so you'll go, you'll dig up a pen and she will sign her name. M-O-U-S-E. Ta-da! My artwork is complete. I want to hang it up. Do you have any tape? So you'll go and you'll get her a roll of tape. Perfect. Thank you. And she'll put some tape on the picture. Oh, but um, you know where I really like to hang my pictures? Right on the refrigerator. So you'll take her picture into the kitchen and you'll tape it up right there on the fridge. Oh! It looks beautiful, but looking at that refrigerator, hmm, you know, that fridge makes me think I'm a little bit thirsty. Do you have a glass of milk? So you'll go and you'll get her a glass of milk. <sighs> ah, much better. But you know, with my milk, I always like a certain thing. 
could I please have a cookie? And so, what can you do? You'll go get her a cookie. <clears throat> Thank you. And chances are, if you give her a cookie, it's just the beginning. Do you think she'll want all those things again? Um, I might. And that's the end. Yay! Great job, everybody. Wow. That was a very, very hungry and busy mouse. I like that story. Now, I have a rhyme for you about, what are we, what are we talking about today? Uh, cotton balls? No, no, definitely not that. <gasps> cookies! That's right, I'm glad you guys remember. So, oh, ooh, I've got my pan of cookies right here, and how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's right. And my rhyme goes like this. Down around the corner at the bakery shop, there were six little cookies with frosting on top. Along came Mouse, all alone. She picked, hmm, which one? A black and white striped cookie and she took it home. All around the corner at the bakery shop, there were how many? One, two, three, four, five. Five little cookies with frosting on top. Along came Mouse, all alone. She picked a, what one would you take? Mm, how about this one? A chocolate sprinkle cookie and she took it home. Yum! How many are left now? One, two, three, four. Down around the corner at the bakery shop, there were four little cookies with frosting on top. Along came Mouse, all alone. She picked a, ooh, look at this one, guys. She picked a cookie with star sprinkles and she took it home. Squeak! <laughs> it's a sneaky mouse. Down around the corner at the bakery shop, there were three little cookies with frosting on top. Along came Mouse, all alone. She picked a, ooh, pink striped cookie and she took it home. Squeak! <laughs> How many are left? Oh my goodness, only two? Down around the corner at the bakery shop, there were two little cookies with frosting on top. Along came Mouse, all alone. She picked, oh, I want this one. A chocolate swirly cookie and she took it home. Squeak! Oh, there's one more left. Down around the corner at the bakery shop, there was one little cookie with frosting on top. Along came Mouse, all alone. She picked a, what's this one? Oh, let me see. Pink sprinkle cookie and she took it home. Squeak! Yum, yum! She ate all the cookies. Let me put that on the ground. Great job, everybody, yay! Oh, these are fun. I Cookies are really fun. Do you guys like cookies? What kind is your favorite? Oh, it's a hard decision. I've got cookies falling all over the place. You know, I really like a chocolate chip cookie, but there's a lot of really good kinds of cookies. Now, I have one more story for you. It's very silly. It's based on a book called Cows in the Kitchen. Now, let me see if I have a cow in here to be in my kitchen. Oh, moo! I sure do. Now, this cow is busy in the kitchen. Look what she's got. Oh! Is that a whisk? Is this cow making cookies? Would you, would you be surprised if there was a cow in your kitchen? Oh, I'd be a little worried. All right, our song and our story goes like this. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. Cows in the kitchen, moo, moo, moo. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. What are you making, cow? Moo cookies. <gasps> cookies? Okay, who else is in the kitchen? Let's see. Uh-oh, we've got... Ooh, I remember this guy from our story. Do you remember who this is? <gasps> Fox? Uh-oh, look what Fox is getting into. <gasps> the flower? 
Fox in the flower, ha, ha, choo. Fox in the flower, ha, ha, choo. Fox in the flower, ha, ha, choo. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. Woo, all that flower made him sneeze. Oh boy. This might be the best part of some cookies. Chocolate chips. Oh no, who's getting into the chocolate chips? Chicken. Chicken in the chocolate chips. Buck, buck, buck. Chicken in the chocolate chips. Buck, buck, buck. Chicken in the chocolate chips. Buck, buck, buck. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. Oh, and you know who else is back? That sneaky mouse. Uh oh. Mouse in the mixing bowl, squeak, squeak, squeak. Mouse in the mixing bowl, squeak, squeak, squeak. Mouse in the mixing bowl, squeak, squeak, squeak. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. Oh no. I've got a pan. What animal starts with a p, p sound? Oh, I think I've got him right here. Oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pan. Oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pan. Oink, oink, oink. Pigs in the pan. Oink, oink, oink. That's what we do, Tom Farmer. Hey, where is this Tom Farmer anyway? Can you guess? He's under the haystack. Oh, fast asleep. Farmer in the haystack. Farmer in the haystack. Farmer in the haystack. Guess what the animals say. Time to wake up, Tom Farmer. Whoa! What are all these animals doing in the kitchen? Out of the kitchen, shoo, shoo, shoo. Out of the kitchen, shoo, shoo, shoo. Out of the kitchen, shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. Ha! Oh, all those animals are out of the kitchen? I think I'll go bake some cookies. <laughs> what do you think he'll find when he goes to get the chocolate chips? Oh boy, and the flour and the pans? It's gonna be a big mess. The end, yay! Great listening today, everybody. I had so much fun with you at story time. Couple reminders before we go today. One is that on Wednesday at 11, our new um, episode of the Loud at Little show will be airing. And that is a show for the parents of babies, toddlers, preschoolers, just to give you some fun ideas of things that you can do this winter, because I know it's starting to get cold and a little cooped up. And that might give you some fun ideas. That'll be Wednesday at 11, but it'll be available to view anytime after that. Uh, we have story time again at 10 next Friday. After that, we'll take a short little break and then we'll be back with you in the new year. So uh, join in next week for some winter stories. In the meantime, I'm so glad you joined me today. It was really good to be with you and I'm looking forward to next week. Should we wave goodbye to our friends? Yeah, here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm glad you came to play. Bye-bye, everybody. Miss you and see you soon.